Hey everybody, welcome back to Nailed or Failed Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a quick review on some traction devices from Yak Tracks. These are the diamond grip traction devices that you can add on to a pair of hiking boots or snow boots, as well as a pair of running shoes to keep you from falling on your butt while you're running out there on the trails or shoveling the driveway. We're going to talk about how well these are made and how well they've been working for us for the past four weeks. We're going to talk about what they're made of and how they're constructed. We're going to show you how easy they are to put on as well as a little bit of footage of us using them while shoveling the patio and the driveway. And then we're going to give you some long-term review footage on how well these pair have been holding up for us for the last three years on a pair of winter running shoes. Let's talk about it right now on Nailed or Failed Reviews. All right, thanks again for joining us again today on Nailed or Failed Reviews. Again, we're talking about these diamond grip traction devices from Yak Tracks. Today, we're going to talk about what these are made of and again, give you some footage with uh, us using them out on the patio doing some shoveling. So let's talk real quick about what they're constructed of and what the claim to fame is on these diamond grips from Yak Tracks. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got uh, one of these diamond grips just hanging here. And we've got one mounted on our boot over here. So we'll show you that in a second. But these have a pretty unique design in that they have a front and a rear portion that are separate from each other. You can see it's got these two big uh, circles that they've made. There's a piece of steel aircraft wire in there. And then these beads are strung onto there. And these, what these beads are, this is the claim to fame and the special you know, uniqueness of these. And that is with this a diamond shape that they've come up with to basically create a bunch of different edges that will then grip into the ice and whatever you're walking on. And so if we zoom in and on here to actually see what they look like, you can see these are made out of a, a steel alloy. So they are a version of steel. And you can see that they're uh, just molded to have a few different edges on them. And you've kind of got like a shallow edge and then like a deep edge. And so these are working really nice for me. Again, I've been using them for about four weeks now, doing a bunch of uh, snow plowing and shoveling. We have to do the neighbor's driveways and all of our driveways are on a slope and it's super easy to fall. So picking up a pair of these was a really smart decision. And I would re really recommend, you know, using these just in the short time that I have been using them. You know, this main piece is a big piece of rubber. You've got them pinned onto this piece of rubber, so they're not going anywhere. And then you can see they're being held on there by a pretty substantial piece of chain. So again, really well constructed. Uh, you can see some wear on here from me using them for the past, uh, again, four weeks now. And one thing I'll notice just to point out so nobody freaks out is that if you do get a pair, you are going to notice that uh, you might see some wires sticking out. And that is where uh, the, the wire to make this loop is joined together. So don't freak out, you know, just make sure you don't uh, stab yourself with those wires because those can be pretty sharp. But if you see something like that, it's not the, uh, the device coming apart. It's just how it's constructed there. So they got to find some place to join it together and they, they try to join it under one of those beads. So either way, again, those are made out of steel alloy and uh, the main string holding them is a piece of steel aircraft cable, they call it. So we'll see how well those hold up over time. And you can see here on, uh, this is just a, a Montreal hiking boot I've had for a long time. So this is size 10 and this is a size large uh, diamond grip that's on here and it fits almost perfectly. So I've also put these on a pair of my size 10 uh, Saucony running shoes and it fits also really well. So again, it goes on, it's got this nice uh, tab on the back here to grab onto and you can easily pull that up over a big uh, hiking boot or snow boot. And then the only thing you really have to do is you have to do a little bit of adjusting uh, once you get them on to make sure that, you know, this uh, ring is centered on your heel and on, on the uh, front of the foot there, just like you see that. So you can see they're pretty substantial. And again, they've been working out really well. All right, now, so before we give you some footage of uh, actually using these and showing you how well they grip out on the slippery patio and driveway, I wanted to show you what a pair of uh, three-year-old Yak Track diamond grips look like. And these have been on my wife's winter running shoes, again, for about three years now. So she's running out in the open space as well as out on the street in the wintertime. And if we show you the bottom here, you will notice that you're gonna see just a little bit of surface rust 
uh, from these, uh, these beads being made of a steel alloy. And again, the uh, cable in there is made out of steel. So, you know, they've, these have held up and it's not like it has uh, uh, broken down or any beads have broken off, but because of the way that this is still a, a piece of steel, in essence, uh, you're gonna get some rust there. And um, if you notice like on the chain there, those are probably plated. And so you're gonna see some of that plating coming off. But again, after three years, I gotta say, these suckers have held up uh, really, really well. And I know my wife is really happy with them. And again, I've been really happy with them on uh, my snowshoes here, just shoveling the driveway. It's definitely helped me not slip and fall. The other thing I'll notice on uh, how they fit is they don't mention anything. Uh, Yak Tracks doesn't say like if these are specifically made to put on a pair of boots or not. But you can see, you know, a boot upper is much stiffer than a running shoe upper. So you'll notice that like when you put it over a boot, it really doesn't deform the, the toe box or anything like that because of how stiff boots are. But when you put it on a pair of running shoes, you will notice that because the toe box is gonna be made mostly of just fabric for the majority of shoes, that it's going to uh, squish your toe box a little bit. And therefore, you will feel these little buttons that they've uh, put on there to hold the chains and to hold the whole device onto the rubber piece. So you can see here that what my wife did was she actually flipped the rubber piece inside out and that way you can have the smooth side of the button riding against uh, the upper of the shoe, against the fabric, and that way you, you will hopefully feel less pressure and uh, like I, I can tell you when you have it like this with the uh, shiny face out, the smooth side out, you can actually feel these ridges of the other side uh, kind of digging into the upper here and, and they rub against your toe and whatnot. So if you're putting on running shoes, you definitely want to flip them around so that that smooth side is against your toe box and that's really going to give you a lot better comfort. All right, now let's head outside and give you some footage of how easy they are to put on and how well they're working to keep me from slipping while doing some shoveling. All right, so these are just some Montreal, you know, hiking boots I've had forever and I use them in the winter time and as you can see, you know, it's just super slippery. And so obviously, you know, I'm being dramatic here, but you can see if you're trying to push off, you can easily slip. So I just want to give you hopefully visual on camera of how slippery this stuff is. So let me put on the yak tracks and show you how easy they go on and then how grippy they are. So they go on super easy. You might have to adjust them a little bit. Make sure they're sitting properly on the bottom of your shoe. You can see it looks really, really traction-y. Okay, so now, I mean, you're just, you're not gonna slip. I don't know, it's, it's hard to, I guess, get on camera possibly, but can hear them grinding in you know I'll push against this snow here so you can see how I can push off All right, so let's see how these look after shoveling three driveways and a long sidewalk. So they definitely have a little bit of ice buildup. Take this off. You can see that it's not too bad. And uh, don't seem to be getting iced up to the point where they're not really serving their function. So 
It's going to be work, working really well there and uh, shedding off the ice and the snow as you're using them. So it's going to be working pretty good and not getting clogged up. All right, so what do you guys think? You know, that's about as good as uh, some footage I could get of using these things, you know, to show you slipping and not slipping with them on. You can see there's some marks there in the snow from uh, where they grab in, and uh, they're really grippy. They're really uh, helpful to make sure you're not going to fall on your butt when you're, you know, plowing the driveway or the big patio here. So I definitely recommend picking some of these up. Again, these are the uh, Yak Track Diamond Grip. You can find them on Amazon. Please help support the channel by purchasing through our affiliate links that we have listed on the article at nailedorfilledreviews.com. But again, we rec really recommend uh, these Yak Tracks. These definitely nail it on all aspects as far as the way that they fit, how easy they are to get on, and how well these uh, diamond gripped pieces work to keep you from slipping. Again, please help support the channel by purchasing through our affiliate links. Like if you like, subscribe, check out the other videos. Thanks for watching Nailed or Failed Reviews.